Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, has long been a subject of fascination for astronomers. This small red dwarf, discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and B. Despite its proximity, just 4.24 light years away, it remains invisible to the naked eye due to its relatively low brightness. However, Proxima Centauri holds immense scientific value, especially as the host star of Proxima b, an exoplanet that orbits within the star's habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and much longer lived than stars like our Sun. Their low luminosity makes them challenging to observe, but it also means that their habitable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima, this translates to an orbital distance of just 0.05 astronomical units, a mere fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This close proximity exposes Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including frequent solar flares and high levels of radiation, making its environment starkly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a monumental achievement in exoplanet research. Using the radial velocity method, astronomers detected subtle wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position, caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These wobbles allowed scientists to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the existence of Proxima b, marking a breakthrough in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have provided valuable insights into Proxima b, they come with significant limitations. Atmospheric distortion and light interference hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of the information we have, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital characteristics, relies on indirect measurements. To uncover deeper truths about Proxima b's environment and its potential for life, more advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope are indispensable. Proxima Centauri's role as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems cannot be overstated. As the closest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life. Proxima b, in particular, represents a tantalizing possibility, a rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to harbor water and maybe even life. However, the challenges posed by its harsh environment make it a complex puzzle for scientists to solve. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a gateway to the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is not just another tool in the arsenal of astronomy. It is a revolution designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. JWST was envisioned to address the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided invaluable insights into the cosmos, including the age of the universe and the discovery of thousands of galaxies. Its capabilities are constrained by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, by contrast, is built to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust and uncover phenomena invisible to Hubble. One of the key design features of JWST is its primary mirror, which spans a staggering 6.5 meters in diameter, more than double the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect far more light, making it capable of observing extremely faint and distant objects. Coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity, the mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments, which work together to create a highly sensitive observational platform. Another groundbreaking innovation is JWST's five-layer sunshield, which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Each layer of the sunshield is made of specialized material called captain, coated with aluminum to reflect sunlight. Together, these features make JWST the most advanced space telescope ever built. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position approximately 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. From L2, 
the telescope can study everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its focus on infrared light is particularly significant as it allows astronomers to study phenomena that are redshifted, objects whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. JWST's capabilities extend far beyond mere observation. It is designed to answer some of the most profound questions in science, including the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that might support life on other planets. With its state-of-the-art instruments, including the Near-Infrared Camera NIR Cam, the Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph NIR Spec, JWST is not just a telescope, it is a time machine, a laboratory, and a beacon of human ingenuity. Proxima b, a potential second Earth. Proxima b has captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential second Earth. Situated within the habitable zone of its star, the planet has the right conditions to potentially support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima b is likely a rocky planet similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from a perfect twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in perpetual daylight while the other is in eternal darkness. This creates a unique environment with extreme temperature differences between the two hemispheres. The region where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, may offer a narrow, twilight zone with conditions moderate enough to support life. The challenges posed by Proxima b's environment are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which can emit bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima b retains any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to shield it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, scientists are optimistic about the potential for life on Proxima b. The planet's position within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life might adapt to the harsh conditions much like extremophiles on Earth. Organisms that thrive in extreme environments such as deep sea hydrothermal vents or high radiation zones. These adaptations could include radiation resistance, subsurface habitats, or unique biochemical processes. The search for life on Proxima b is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b represents a tantalizing possibility, a rocky, Earth-like world that might harbor the conditions necessary for life. As our technology advances, so too does our ability to explore this intriguing planet and uncover its secrets. Challenges of Proxima b's host star, Proxima Centauri. While Proxima b presents tantalizing possibilities, its environment is profoundly influenced by the nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star smaller, cooler, and significantly less luminous. Its reduced size and temperature mean that its habitable zone is much closer, pulling Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 astronomical units from the star about 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This proximity creates a unique set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it might host. One major issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, particularly its intense and frequent solar flares. These flares are sudden, powerful eruptions of energy that release high doses of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Such events are far more common and energetic in red dwarfs than in stars like our Sun. For Proxima b, this means a constant bombardment of high-energy particles, which could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time. Without a protective magnetic field like Earth's magnetosphere, any atmosphere on Proxima b would be vulnerable to erosion, leaving its surface exposed to the harsh radiation. Even if Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, the radiation from Proxima Centauri poses serious challenges to life. High levels of ultraviolet radiation can break molecular bonds, 
preventing the formation of complex organic compounds. This would severely limit the potential for life to develop or sustain itself on the planet's surface. On Earth, organisms such as Deinococcus radiodurans have evolved mechanisms to repair DNA damage caused by radiation, suggesting that life on Proxima b might similarly adapt. However, the level of radiation resistance required would be extreme, possibly necessitating entirely new biochemistries. Interestingly, Proxima b's tidally locked nature may offer some protection. While one hemisphere faces constant radiation from Proxima Centauri, the planet's dark side could serve as a refuge. Subsurface habitats or deep caves could shield potential life forms from the worst of the radiation. Similarly, if Proxima b has subsurface oceans, they could provide a stable, radiation-free environment where microbial life might thrive, much like the ecosystems around hydrothermal vents on Earth. The search for life and future exploration. Despite these challenges, scientists remain hopeful that Proxima b's extreme environment provides a unique opportunity to study the adaptability of life. By observing how organisms might survive or even thrive under such conditions, researchers can expand their understanding of what makes a planet habitable. Proxima b is not just a potential home for life. It is a natural laboratory for testing the limits of life itself. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revolutionized the search for life on exoplanets, particularly those like Proxima b. One of JWST's most powerful tools is its ability to perform infrared spectrography, a technique that allows astronomers to analyze the chemical composition of a planet's atmosphere. By studying the way light interacts with atmospheric molecules, scientists can identify key signatures such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and oxygen, molecules often associated with biological processes. Spectrography works by splitting light into its component wavelengths, creating a fingerprint that reveals the presence of specific elements and compounds. For Proxima b, this method could detect whether the planet has an atmosphere and what it might contain. The presence of gases like methane and oxygen together could be a strong indicator of biological activity, as these molecules tend to react and break down without continuous replenishment by living organisms. One intriguing biosignature astronomers are searching for is the red edge. On Earth, vegetation absorbs visible light for photosynthesis but reflects infrared light, creating a distinct spectral feature. If Proxima b has plant-like organisms adapted to its environment, they might produce a similar red edge signature in the infrared spectrum. Detecting such a signature would provide compelling evidence of life or at least photosynthetic processes on the planet. The recent detection of flickering lights on Proxima b has added a new dimension to the search. These lights could represent natural phenomena such as volcanic activity or auroras caused by the star's radiation. However, they might also indicate something more extraordinary, artificial signals from an intelligent civilization. If these lights are confirmed to be non-natural, it could signify the first evidence of alien technology, a groundbreaking discovery with profound implications. JWST's observations are only the beginning. Future missions, such as the planned Habitable Worlds Observatory, will build on JWST's findings, offering even greater sensitivity and precision. These next-generation telescopes will be equipped to directly image exoplanets, providing detailed views of their surfaces and atmospheres. Together, these advancements are bringing humanity closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? the Fermi paradox, and the search for extraterrestrial life. The universe is vast, containing billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars and potentially trillions of planets. Given these staggering numbers, the likelihood of life, intelligent or otherwise, seems high. Yet, despite decades of searching, humanity has found no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. This conundrum is known as the Fermi paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where's everybody? One possible explanation for the Fermi paradox is that intelligent civilizations are exceedingly rare. While microbial life might be common, the leap from simple organisms to advanced spacefaring societies could be incredibly difficult and unlikely. Alternatively, civilizations might self-destruct before they can make contact with others. 
humanity's own history of nuclear weapons and environmental degradation serves as a sobering example of this possibility. Another theory suggests that advanced civilizations deliberately avoid contact with less developed ones. This concept, often called the zoo hypothesis, posits that alien societies might observe us from a distance, much as we study animals in the wild. Alternatively, they might use forms of communication or technology that we are not yet capable of detecting. For instance, they could communicate using quantum entanglement or other advanced methods beyond our current scientific understanding. There's also the unsettling possibility that we are entirely alone or that we are the first intelligent civilization to arise in the universe. If this is true, humanity bears the unique responsibility of ensuring the survival and expansion of intelligent life. Conversely, we might not be the observers but the observed, visited by beings so advanced that their actions are indistinguishable from natural phenomena. The implications of discovering life on Proxima b. The panspermia hypothesis offers yet another perspective. This theory suggests that life, or at least its building blocks, can travel across space, carried by comets, asteroids, or even microscopic particles. If true, life on Earth might not have originated here but could have been seeded by material from distant worlds. This raises the possibility that life is more interconnected across the cosmos than we currently realize. The discovery of life on Proxima b whether microbial or intelligent, would have profound implications for humanity. First and foremost, it would confirm that Earth is not unique, that life can arise under a variety of conditions across the cosmos. Such a revelation would fundamentally alter our understanding of biology, evolution, and the origins of life. If intelligent life is discovered, the implications become even more staggering. The mere existence of another advanced civilization would challenge humanity's sense of uniqueness and superiority. It would also raise critical questions about communication, ethics, and coexistence. Should we attempt to contact them? If so, how do we ensure that our intentions are understood? And what if they see us as a threat? The discovery of alien life could also have a unifying effect on humanity. For centuries, we have been divided by borders, ideologies, and conflicts. The knowledge that we are not alone might inspire a new sense of global solidarity as we come to see ourselves as a single species within a vast and interconnected universe. Conclusion, the vast possibilities ahead. From a scientific perspective, studying alien life could revolutionize multiple fields, from medicine to technology. For example, Understanding how life survives under extreme conditions on Proxima b might lead to breakthroughs in biotechnology, genetics, and even climate science. The possibilities are as vast as the cosmos itself. Finally, the discovery of extraterrestrial life would redefine humanity's place in the universe. For millennia, we have looked to the stars and wondered if someone or something is looking back. Proxima b brings us closer to answering that question suggesting that life might be more versatile and widespread than we ever imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope has brought us closer than ever to answering these monumental questions. Its observations of Proxima B offer a tantalizing glimpse of what may lie beyond our solar system. Whether it's microbial life thriving in subterranean oceans or the flickering lights of an alien metropolis, Proxima B holds the potential to forever change how we view ourselves and our place in the cosmos. As we continue this journey of discovery, one thing is certain. The universe is far more complex, mysterious, and beautiful than we ever imagined. And who knows, the next big revelation might be just around the corner.